Hello there, I'm Professor Steve Santello. Come on in, welcome to my crib. I want to show you guys first these, these development stations, their collaboration stations that up to four students work on at a time. They, they design projects here, they develop the projects here. This is one of the projects that, that a group of four students developed in about three months. It's a top-down bullet hell game. I'm terrible at this game. It's, it's incredibly difficult, but it's playable on, on all sorts of different controllers. We, of course, also have all the latest and greatest game consoles. We have PlayStation 4, we have Xbox One, we have Nintendo Switch. We're definitely going to be getting a lot of the new systems when they're coming out. And they use these systems like this to do research and to, to play test games that have already been released. But we also have development kits for Sony PlayStation and Switch so students can develop on those too. So this is a first person shooter. This is really meant for a keyboard and mouse. Uh, and it's a really high octane shooter. It's, it's uh, again, another great game that was developed by uh, a small team of students and in, in just you know, a couple months, which is, uh, which is awesome and fantastic. Games like this, we, we end up using Unreal Engine, which I'll show you guys later on when we start walking to see some of these other machines as well. This is a really cool project. This is a VR game that was developed in Unreal. Within, within a couple months as well, a, a group of four students not only developed this, but won the, uh, the Illinois State and National Competition at Skills USA. And you can play this on VR. You know, you can just put this headset on here, use motion controls here, and it's a, it's a you know, again, great game. Um, as opposed to some of these 3D games, we also do some 2D games too. And so this is one of these, these awesome uh, 2D games where you're a monkey flying in a banana shooting a bunch of things, which is, which is fantastic. Um, and this game too can, can be played on all sorts of different controls as well. Back here we actually have a bunch of stations that, that game development students can work on simultaneously. And each one of these stations have, have dual monitors on them, so students can, can work in multiple pieces of software um, as, they, as they want, or as many pieces of software as they want. We can actually hold up to 16 game development students uh, at once, and all those game development students can be working on different projects at once, or even the same projects at once. And you know, here uh, on these dual monitors displayed, we have Unreal Engine, that is made by Epic Games. Uh, College of DuPage is actually a partner of Epic Games, which is really cool. And we use uh, Unreal Engine to, to actually develop most of our game content. We can do 2D games, we can do 3D games, we can do VR with it, we can do AR with it, augmented reality, which is something that we hadn't seen in this classroom yet, but we're working on that as well. We've, uh, we also have other pieces of software like Substance Painter that you guys can see here as well where students can use drawing tablets to, to, to do detailed sculpts of, of their models that they would create in 3D Studio Max or Maya and then continue to paint some really awesome materials um, onto, those, onto those models as well. As part of these stations too, we actually do in fact have these, these game pads here. So we have some Xbox controllers here as well so students can practice developing games not only for keyboard and mouse, but for game pads as well. All right, I've invited you to my lab. I've shown you around, I've showed you game projects, I've showed you hardware, I've showed you software. I gotta get back to work, you guys gotta go. See you later.